A couple weeks ago, I was able to speak at an event in Amsterdam, uh, Creative Mornings, and it was for their birthday, and I was one of three speakers, and the topic was reverie. And when I applied to speak, I, I said I want to speak something about improvisation and how I find that the reverie that comes from not concentrating and not being distracted, but this sort of in-between space is really valuable. And I was successful. I, uh, my application, they invited me to speak, and then I realized I had to write the talk. And <clears throat> as I was doing so, I discovered that what I wanted to share with the audience, what I wanted to communicate on a personal level was how improvisation for me, how studying that craft and working on it and sort of devoting my life to it for a great many years really helped me become a better performer on stage and off stage become more productive. And what I wanted to give to the audience was the tools or uh, at least an insight into how to make that possible for themselves. And it was something I called productive distraction. Because for me, the value of improv principles of taking them off stage is really about letting our ideas and inspirations come to us and recognize them, but not to follow them passively or to just skip from idea to idea to other idea or to put them out of our minds so we can get focused on what it is that we really want to focus, but rather to embrace these ideas with the improv principle of yes and and follow them to their logical conclusion. And for me, I think anything um, or almost anything that I've ever done that I'm proud of somehow owes a debt of gratitude to this idea of productive distraction, of yes anding our own ideas. An example of this that I shared at this talk was that when I heard that I was, had been accepted, I uh, thought to myself, I mean, my brain really thought it, it was, uh, oh, you should write a, like a rap, like an acapella verse that you can use at the end of your rap to kind of wrap things up and it can be a, it can be a summary of what you, what you talk about. So that's exactly what I did. And here it is. Reverie is not the enemy of productivity. In fact, it's the key to opening up mentally. How do you think the Beatles learned to let it be? Or Tom Six came up with the idea for the human centipede by taking a thought and following it like a leapfrog between thinking and not therein lies the sweet spot. And sometimes the result is genius. It's perfect. And other times, nah, it's a little bit bullshit. But the process itself is never worthless. It's how we make any things, from poems to paintings to churches. Immense satisfaction awaits on the road of productive distraction. So that's it. That's the message. Follow your thoughts, because that journey is what's precious.